Hey everybody, this is going to be the last right-brained assignment we do right now. It's, this one is just fun, and I'm not even going to look at anything to do this. The idea is we practice a little bit drawing with our non-dominant hand, like our left hand, and we practiced, of course, drawing with our right hand. I want to show you this mirror drawing technique where we do them both at the same time. If I place my uh, both both my pencils on the table at the same time or on the page, I can draw approximately the same shape. So, now the cool thing about this is your left hand or your non-dominant hand, you just sort of follow what's going on. This is even cool if you want to, uh, if you ever thought, as we all do, that it'd be cool to, oh, can I do it? Be able to write backwards. Did that work? So you see, it's not perfect, of course. One of them is going to be wrong, but here's some other things we can do. We can really get in. We're going to amaze people with our abilities to do this. They're going to think we're magicians because when we get in here and do this, It looks almost like it's magic. And part of it is just uh, giving yourself up to it. Like I always say, breathe and relax and then make your marks. And uh, of course, I have all the paper I need. So, I, oops, I don't mind just throwing it around. I don't know what's back here. I think it's one of my great-granddaughter's masterpieces. Yes, beautiful. But, um, so you, can, you don't have to draw an object. You can do just some ideas. Remember, we practice Zen tangles a little bit. And right now, this is a real cool thing. If you want to practice things like that. Sometimes our mind automatically goes to an object, you know, so we might start with an idea of a flower. Oops, and I just started with a feather. Whoa. My mind said <laughs> feather while my, my face said flower. Uh, I'm going to go here and maybe try a daisy, ooh, that is the worst daisy in the world. But you see, we can sort of do those things. Uh, I wonder what other kinds of flowers I can draw. You know, I want to try something a little different. I wonder if I can do it top to bottom. Oh, I don't know if I can. What if I did the same way? Oh, that's just weird. My mind is not ready for that. I think we're literally practicing left and right brain. It's so much easier to do it in this way. Of course, maybe I've had more practice doing it this way. You know, so have some fun with it. If you have some giant paper, even if you're just practicing on top of a newspaper. Maybe, I'm sorry to say, on this May 11th, on this May 11th, that you may be able to go out and draw it in the snow on your deck tonight. Crazy. Oh, check it, yo. Here's what I used to do to wow, to wow the folks, the little people. Oops. I think it's magic. It is magic. That's why I shrunk. Oh boy. Oh, 
Oh, is that a lead? Bam. All right. Now, this is going to be our last assignment of the year, actually. I think, unless I uh, give you any surprises, this week on Wednesday the 13th and Thursday the 14th, we're having the locker clean out at the school. Um, and that's going to be a great opportunity for you all to come pick up your artwork also. I'm going to be in the room all day long doing my thing and I'd love to see you. I promise I'll wear a mask when you show up, okay? It'll be more like a long, Lone Ranger mask. But hey, have fun with this. You might have to tape it down or somehow attach your paper down so it doesn't move as you're drawing. But just draw with two hands. It's fun. It's cool. It's magic.